All right, let's have a look at this KBAT um, integration questions. All right, the question asks you to determine the value of K in the following diagram if the area of the shaded region is 36 units square. All right, so from here, what I can see is I have a, a curve which is y equals to x square, and I have a horizontal line which is a shaded line, uh, which is y equals to k square. All right, so right now, in order to get the 36, which is the shaded region, my First logic is I, I will try to get the rectangle. So I try to get this rectangle. And then after that, I will minus the um the area under the curve. I will minus this area. Then I will get 36. Do you see that? Area under the curve is quite easy, right? We just need to integrate the this curve, which is the x square, from the value a to b. Alright from a to b and then toward x i see dx all right rectangle is not too bad also because i know that at least i know the height here is k square all right so i want to know the the distance here maybe i just do something like b minus a so it's some sort of like b minus a and then i multiply k square and then i should be able to get area of rectangle and then minus this area under the curve so basically uh this is everything uh, we want to do in these questions all right so first thing is let's sub the okay let me just erase some of it okay so that you can see the question clearly okay so the first step i will do is i will sub the k square i will sub the y into the y line. so base basically uh, x square will equal to the k square all right then x should equals to positive negative k all right so what I want to do right now is at least what I understand here is um I should have a negative k and positive k. So from here at least I know the distance here 0 to k this is 0 to negative k so if I minus I should get something like 2k. Right and then like I say here will be k square and then here will be 2k so i will multiply with k square all right then i want to minus um the area under the curve which is from negative k to k for x square dx and then i will get 36 all right this one i will get 36 okay so when i do this what area i'm trying to find is this area area under the curve from negative k all the way to the positive k okay so this one is the red color shaded region here okay so if i minus i use a red this one is the rectangle this one is a rectangle i minus this is the red color shaded area i get 36 okay so i just need to solve this one then i i guess i should be able to get my k here okay this one i multiply should be 2k power of 3 Okay, this one, if I integrate, so I should get something like uh, x power of 3 divided by 3, and then k negative k equals to 36. Alright, then I kind of will use the space here. Alright, this is 2k power of 3, and then minus, I can sub the k into here. Then I should have something like k power of 3 over 3 minus negative k power of 3 over 3. And then equals to 36. Alright, then what I will do is I will just um blast them together because negative negative become positive, and then I will use the 2k power of 3 minus them. Alright. So here I have 2k power of 3 minus if I blast them together it should be um 2k power of 3 over 3 and then equals to 36. Alright, um normally I see the uh, fraction and the whole number something like this I will just multiply 3 for the whole equation so that I can solve it quickly so I multiply 3 for the whole equation I multiply 3 for the first one should be 6k power of 3 multiply 3 for the second one I will get back the negative 2k power of 3 this one will give me 108 all right then I just minus them this one should be 4k power of 3 equals to 108 and then I can just use the 108 divided by 4 I should be able to get a 27 if i divide by 4 i get 27 then my k should be positive 3 here okay so this is how we get the k value 
actually the question like this is not like very hard but i i think you will uh, stay as a k bar because uh, first thing is the unknown normally um, they will give you some number y equals to 4 or y equals to 5 in this case they give you the k and so that your limit here or your definite here is like in negative k and k so like so many k here so when a student do that time might make some carry mistake and the second mistake i think most of students will make is when they have this kind of question right the student will just assume when they integrate from negative k to k for x squared they can straight away get the 36 without using the rectangle to minus okay so this is something you must be very careful when you integrate negative k to k for x squared you are actually getting the red color shadow region not the black color shadow region at the middle so you you must be very careful when you do this kind of question so that you know whenever you integrate we calculate is something like this from the curve toward the x-axis we cannot get anything inside the curve all right always from the surface of the curve toward the x-axis all right i hope you remember and understand the theory of the integration all right i hope you find this video helpful to you i will see you guys in the next video bye bye